Picture yourself in a Unity game, roaming solo, desperately seeking a companion for your adventure. Yet, no matter how hard you try, it's technically impossible for other people to join the game. The solution to this problem is spelled out, netcode for game objects. Netcode for game objects. A powerful tool that streamlines the process of adding multiplayer functionality to your Unity game. Netcode for game objects is a high-level networking library. It's the official Unity networking solution built by the Unity team. It provides features like remote procedure calls, also known as RPCs, and network variables for seamless and easy to implement communication between each client and the server. To install netcode for game objects in your Unity project, open the package manager and select install package by name and type com.unity.netcode.gameobjects. Then we need a network manager. We create a new game object called network manager and attach the network manager script to it. Here we got a bunch of network settings, but the only one we need to care about for now is the select transport dropdown. This is where we define the protocol for the data that is being communicated between the clients and the server. We will set this to Unity Transport. We need to attach the network object component to the player. Every object that needs to be synced over the network requires a network object. If we want to sync its position, we create a new script called Client Network Transform. Since netcode is server authoritative by default, we need to create a new script that inherits from Network Transform and sets server authoritative to false. Then we add the client network transform to the player and toggle off rotation and scale since we only care about the position. Then a network rigid body 2D component to sync the rigid body physics as well. We do the same to sync our animations by creating a new script called client network animator that inherits from network animator and overrides is server authoritative to false. Add the client network animator to the player prefab and assign the animator to the field. Now in the script that controls the movement of our player, we need to check that we are the owner of the script. If we're not the owner, we return out of the update function. To be able to check if we are the owner, we need to inherit from network behavior instead of mono behavior. This is what allows us to use all the network features brought to us by the netcode package. On the network manager, we can now assign our player prefab to the player prefab field. If we press play and select the network manager and click host, we can see our player get spawned to the network. And the most amazing part is that this tiny effort is all it takes to make a multiplayer game in Unity using netcode for game objects. Now everybody wants to be your friend and you'll never feel lonely again.